Good morning and welcome to our worship. It's great to welcome you again. Let's just pray together. Lord, we come with purpose into your presence, our living God, this day. We come to worship you, to be amazed, to discover and learn new things and to offer you our love. Lord, welcome us all with open arms. May all of us feel included and loved. Amen. I suspect some more of us by now have returned to work from the government funded furlough scheme. I know some have found lockdown hard, especially those who've had to continue to work. But others on furlough have appreciated this enforced sabbatical as an unforeseen act of grace. It's been an opportunity to take things at a more manageable pace, to exercise, pray more, to be creative and paradoxically, maybe to feel less isolated, more connected to family, community, friends and neighbours. Ecclesiastes writes, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. For all too many, of course, this has been a season of grief, anxiety, loneliness, exhaustion or sickness. But for some, it's been a time to take stock, <clears throat> to value the simpler things in life to discover God in the here and now. Freedom from the daily grind can both liberate and disorientate. And perhaps what we can say about lockdown, we can also say about holiday seasons. So if you're based at home for whatever reason, you'll know all too well the importance of routine in keeping grounded. Well-known celebrities shared this tip, which helped during lockdown. Don't be surprised if everything takes longer. In a day without the usual markers, we can find it harder to focus, especially if we're the type whose mind is inclined to fire on all cylinders, or if we're bored, itching for human interaction, or suffering from a low mood. Quick online task can easily take us down a rabbit warren from which we emerge an hour later with little to show for it. Despite having more time to sit with God's and rest in prayer, our minds still wander as we disappear down the other things that come loading. There's a fine line between resting and wasting the moment. So this rhythm of prayer and worship is useful for us. And even in lockdown, the routine of gathering together on a Sunday morning or whenever you choose to access this service has helped many of us to appreciate God intentionally. And as we give God again this time now, let's focus on him, all that he has given and is giving. And may we praise his holy name. Let us pray. Lord God, as we come before you now, we open our hearts to you. May we give you our attention, our praise. Help us to see that we can learn so much from others, even from those with whom we think we may not share much in common. Make us willing to stand out from the crowd, to hear your voice and to act upon it. And give us a real focus that you might be at the centre of our thoughts and all our worship today and in the days to come, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's sing together our first song. 